Hormat. Steve Gresham here, guru with Kempo and Pimbantu guru with Silat Sarak. And I learned Pincha Silat Sarak from Pak Victor de Tours for many, many years, and now with Guru Rocio Rodriguez and my good friend and uh, Guru Carl Bowles. So I'm going to start teaching some now that uh, we're in this COVID, and I want to make everybody have some practices to do. So just going to practice along with me and have some fun. Jurus are very important. You know, when you're doing Jurus, we have a basic way of Jurus aqui, here, and then cover and pull back and raise up. See how this is? And then come down here. A lot of people do this. This is wrong. Okay. You need to do this. Put your finger under your collarbone and don't hit your hand. Put it here. Okay. So a lot of people show you Jurus, they do them very fast, they try to do them hard. What I want you to do is get some fine points. These are the secrets, these are the keys to unlocking the potential of Sirach. Just read a quote from Dan and Asanto about Sirach. He says it's a dream martial art. He says it's incredibly efficient. He says the hand skills are at least equivalent to Wing Chun and the off balancing is the most superior that he had seen. I'm paraphrasing. I agree. 30 years in martial arts, I agree, it's amazing to me. Very little effort, maximum result. Okay, so when you do this, you'll have a distance here. See this? There's only a distance of one thumb. It's not out here, it's not here. It's right there. You're relaxed, okay? Come in, this is one way, one method. And then you cover this, and then you're pulling this back with your body and it comes up, and then it comes down here. Don't try to elbow here. Think of the head being here, right here, not over here. Now you're in Sliwa, see? Here you're not in Sliwa, okay? So you come up, you hit, you pull, and you come down, okay? Now, from this point, drop your elbow. Don't pull your arm back. Drop your elbow down and allow this to come up into your wipe. And as you come down, make sure that this elbow is not back here. Your hand should be out. The elbow should be out. Everything is out, okay? And then we wipe across like this. So you wipe across, you come down, the elbow is out. This is a line, it's a triangle. So it's here, there's a line right here, okay? So we go like this, you can Pac Victor used to always do on Skype lessons with me. He would always move like that, see? Because when the punch comes, boom, you're here. The guy is right here. His head is right here. Boom, he's done. You hit, you break, okay? It's very fast. You're so close to the man. Boom, here, open, see? Very good Juru for you. Okay, Jurus one. When you, when you do this wipe here, the man is here, elbow, open his head, bring his head back, push it down. Okay, I do that a lot. It works really, really well, especially when you advance. All right, so let's see how this works. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're gonna do the Juris one. Okay. That's your Simba Hormat, right? And when you do the Juris one, here, here, bang, cover this up, pull it back. Now, I'm not pulling with my arm. If I don't move my arm, see what's happening? The whole body is pulling the man. So if you grab under his elbow, for example, and you pull back, what's happening to him? He's going like this. So when you pull it back here, look at where your, your elbow is right there. Boom, especially with a kuda. See, bang, okay, so it's up. And then here, boom. Remember, touch this, drop it down, wipe. This corkscrew, come up here. Corkscrew the knife all the way in. So for example, he punches, wipe across. Where is he? He punches here, right? Wipe across. Now his face is here. <laughs> so there's the elbow, 
or come up under the neck, lift, drop. That's where you find the 50-50. As Pod Victor used to say, has the impression of a forward lean, but it's not. It's not a forward lean. You're sitting on a stool 50-50. You can practice from here. See that? So like if you had to push a car up a hill or if you're playing football, why do football players get low like this? Because they have the force to deal with, okay? It's physics. All right, so this is one method. Here, here, pull back, come up, boom. Now you can also do this method. Come up on this heel and as you plant, you drop your heel, your whole weight, okay? Wipe, here, corkscrew, think of a blade coming right in, boom, see? Pull back, wipe, corkscrew. So let's do this with a footwork. Stepping out, first base, third base, okay? So they punch, step out, to first base, corkscrew. Third base, boom. So you're here, punch comes, step out, corkscrew. See, you're here, step out, corkscrew. Okay. One, boom, two, boom, okay. Another method that we have in the Jewish one is when we come up here, we go out like this. Now I'm going to actually encompass the man, usually go around his neck, pull him in, the elbow would be done here, but we're dropping. So you have basically three parts or three methods. You have your masjud, which is your more defensive art, okay, which we've been learning. You have your masruin where you actually attack first. You feel the imminent danger, you attack first because action beats reaction. Mr. Parker always said action beats reaction. That's why he talks about distance, okay? And then the pasarak is the jurus is where you get the man and you immediately drop down and destroying the spine, which is, you know, not great if you don't want to go to jail. But that's what it does. So it teaches you defensive, offensive, and complete destruction of the anatomy. So the second method that you can do here when you come up is to go out like this. Coming out, you're pulling in. You're stepping into the man, okay? So in Jerus 1, instead of doing it here, masjud, done from the lead, like this. Okay. Masrun is done in the Tiga fighting stance, more aggressive for advancing, you know, kind of more like a Mike Tyson type of really in here and straight on. Okay, it's more like you watch Tyson's greatest hits or whatever, that's how he stands. It's the attacking, it's the Masrun, right? So in the Masrun, you have out, you encompass the man, boom, you destroy the man really fast, okay? So we practice the jurus this way. One, out, pull back, up, bam, down, kuda, bang, kuda, bang. Now the other thing that you can do is you don't have to do the corkscrew, you can also do this one. So it's one, two, three, you try it, okay? Not here. Not here, here. One, two, three, four. Supported, okay? This one is pushing like this one. One, two, three, four, okay? One. If you're doing garis, like this. See? Chain punch is like this. Problem with chain punches is it's not supported. The support is very important, okay? 
I'd rather go slower and have better structure. All right. So you can do this or support and then grab the man and trash it. So you have this action in Mas Ruin Jurus where you can go here, you come out, pull, there's the elbow. It's making the third point of the triangle right here. You're gonna see in the feet, if you're like this, the, come back, the third point is here, the elbow is making that third point. So if it drop down, it has stability from here. I am not elbowing like this, which a lot of people and beginners will do, because now they're in Sliwa from this angle. They lift here, you go. So if the guy traps your foot, which is what we do in Sirach, and they lift here, your foot is trapped, you're going, right? So what you do in the Mas Ruin, you attack. So, like that. You go get the man. You can come out with thumbs to the eyes, pull the neck, crash it, and drop it. This is very good. Not this, not this separated, together. Sirach, put the hands together, connect your triangles, connect them, okay? So we go here, up, out, pull with the hip, bam, wipe it down. Come across with the kuda. Then you can do one, two. One with the hip, two with the hip. One with the hip, two with the hip. When I hit here, now he's done. So as soon as you hit here and he blocks, you pull him in, here's his head, boom, done. It's very efficient. Now in the pasarak, remember he's about five foot tall. He has a half of an arm, he has a club foot. So I don't really know which foot it was, Horacio could probably tell you, but he used this to his ability and the short arm, okay? So in the Pasarak, when you do, is you come up and you hit, first thing you do, drop. Now, make sure that you're not like this. You have to have stability. Test your stability. It's either this elbow down, horizontal, straight up, inverted, or any of those different angles that you could do. So what you can do is like this. You come in, you encompass the man. As soon as you get him, you drop and you destroy. Boom. There's the neck break right there. Okay, and back up. Giving you a lot today, but hopefully you will learn this and have a basic foundation so when you come and train, you, you won't be lost, you'll have an idea, okay? So, in the Pasarak, you come up, boom, go in and get the man. You could headbutt here if you wanted. You could put the fingers in the eyes, you could grab the ear, you can grab the throat, right? Now, first thing you do, drop him down. Boom, destroy right there, right there, right there, depending. And then you have your turning of the head, Puda Kapalas, boom, and back up. All right, so Maschud, you can do here, I'm sorry, from the front foot, from the front foot, okay? In the lurus, the straight line. The masjud here. Boom. Hit. Cover. Pull. Down. Drop. Kuda. Corkscrew. Drop. Corkscrew. Okay. The masruin we're going to do from the tika stance, from the aggressive stance. It's like Tenchikan where you come in, boom, 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 okay? So now you're in your Tiga stance. Do not be in a Lurus. You want to open the stance like this. Looks like you could get kicked in the balls, but no. You're not going to get kicked in the balls because you have awareness, okay? So you're here, all right? And now you come up. You go out. 
you're gonna come up, bam, and drop your weight. Boom. Do not elbow here, elbow here. Pull it down, kuda. One, two. It's another method. And then pasarak, we come up, out, we get the man, drop it down. Boom. And kuda kapa. So there you go, three methods. Hope you enjoy. Love Sirach, great art. Hormat. And we'll see you in class.